So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today, I have an interesting program. There is a channel. I have some very good programs. And Uh, have been given victory and also if you notice the Taliban have different types of cars they're not all this is where by the way this is the picture of where the first 50 people had met and given bayah to Mullah Umar who the Americans were trying to look for and look for and look for and look for and they couldn't find him in the east or the west or anywhere even though his house was actually very near the American base they were never able to find him this is where the people who were known as Taliban they were called Taliban because they were students. They, these were mostly teachers in this Islamic seminary, the madrasa. And uh, these people, they either these were mujahideen who had become teachers. They had lost their eyes like Mullah Umar, or they had lost their leg, or they had lost their arm, or they had lost some part of their body. And when the first time they went to, you know, they were invited after some victories to go to uh, Islamabad and meet some of the uh, the ISI and the generals over there, they noticed that they didn't ask for money like the others were. They didn't ask for weapons like the others were. 
they were all maimed. They were all without like ear or arm or on a cane or had some. This is how they began. And this is where they became true. And so now when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Mullah Umar this dream and even Pakistan had attacked uh, Afghanistan, Mullah Umar has said there are Muslim brothers, even though they have betrayed us, we're not going to attack them. Okay, we're not going to attack them. Now notice when the ISI, the, the, the ISIS, you know, the ISIS, the fake, the fake group, uh, they all had teoras. Okay, they all had teoras. If you look at the Taliban, they're using some of these uh, American equipments and they all have different cars, which means that, you know, it's not like some uh, CIA operation that went and bought a bunch of cars and gave it to them. No, this is like organic. Okay, this is organic. And uh, so anyway, so it's very important to to know that that dream that Mullah Umar had and for which the whole, as soon as, you know, this is the house, by the way, of uh, Mullah Umar. Okay, this is the house of Mullah Umar. And uh, this is the house that was near the American base where it's made of mud. This house is made of mud. It's not, it's not made of steel. It's made of mud. He had, had a house of made of mud. And he, Mullah Umar had decided that he will establish the Sharia. He in one command had done away with all the poppy seeds, right? And this is where he, uh, you know, was residing and running his whole operation from. And so the Americans were looking for Mullah Umar left, right and center. And this was his very humble, very small house. Even when Dr. Asra'am, he talked about how simple his life was, how simple his living was. And so when the Prophet had given uh, Mullah Umar this, uh, you know, this this is the house. When, Prophet, uh, when the Prophet had given Mullah Umar this dream, then even when Pakistan was pressuring him, he said, no, I am going to establish the deen of Allah. I'm not going to, after seeing this dream, I can't stop. Right. So even the Musharraf at that time, the Pakistani general, he had what he had attacked uh, Pakistan. Uh, he had attacked Afghanistan with America. And uh, let me just also share with you. So it says, uh, uh, let me just share with you what it said. That Allah ne Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ne musalsatin rad khwab me hukum diya. Mullah Umar said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to me three nights in a row and told me to fight this fight okay and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had told me to fight this fight and that the prophet said mullah umar you will be victorious so now look at this president the president of the united states of america this is what a president and a person looks like when he's totally helpless he does not know what to do okay this is what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does to people when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses the right people and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the right people and uses the people and despite all their technology, despite all their surveillance, they couldn't find out where the grave of Mullah Umar was. And surprise, surprise, the Taliban knew this whole time where his grave was. And they were looking for his grave left, right and center. They were looking for his grave everywhere and they couldn't find it with all their technology, all their power, all their suits, all their money, all their surveillance, all their intelligence, all their schooling, all their PhDs, everything that they got. They used it all and in the end they lost because the Prophet's Bishara to Mullah Umar was true. The Prophet's command to Mullah Umar was true and he didn't listen to Pakistan. He didn't listen to America. And when George Bush called this a crusade and the Prophet ﷺ came in the dream of Mullah Umar, the, you know, what we see and what history will show, what history will show Mullah Umar was like another Salahuddin Ayyubi in a way. Not exactly as great as that in historical sense, but in some ways just as great because they were fighting against the superpower of that time, the the Mongols and the Crusaders, and Mullah Umar also with his no technology, no surveillance, no uh you know no high equipment gears, right? Uh, none of that. He and his people that gathered around him, and as the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 
if you get 12,000 people to join you, you will win. And so today, or in these days, Mullah Umar, his grave, the Taliban always knew where it is. They had now come, as you can see in the screen, they had come now and, you know, they, they, they are, uh, they are going to go to the grave of Mullah Umar and tell Mullah Umar, Oh Mullah Umar, you're in your grave, but the dream the Prophet had given you and the things that you had started and the, the, the victory Allah has given you. And, you know, one of the leaders said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely give him our message. They went to his grave to give him the Fatiha, Fatiha in his grave to read dua for him. As you know, that's the Sunnah of the Prophet. Where, you know, uh, Pakistan had sent a message to Mullah Umar that, look, you destroyed one generation fighting the Soviet Union. Do you really want to destroy another generation fighting against the Americans? And Mullah Umar had said, no, the Prophet has come to me in a dream and I cannot stop. I cannot stop now. The Prophet وسلم, has come to me in a dream and I can't stop now. And then they asked uh, Mullah Umar, look, you're Taliban, you're in charge, we won't fight with you, just do elections. And Mullah Umar said, no, I will not accept a foreign power that has taken, trying to take control over us. And then they dictate to us that we should have elections and establish a system other than the system of Islam, other than the system of Khilafah. He didn't accept that. And then now, recently, like I said already, they went to the grave of Mullah Umar and did dua for him and du did dua for his akhirah. And uh, now, you see Pakistan, the, 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 the mafia in Pakistan, the mob, or the criminal elements in Pakistan, they're worried about Afghanistan. And they don't want Islam in Afghanistan because they know that Islam in Afghanistan will influence Islam not only in Pakistan, but Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, because Afghanistan is at the heart of all these places. And if they bring Islam, then, they're, then the Barakah will come and by that Barakah, other places will be affected. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did give them victory. And it seems like the dream of Mullah Umar three days in a row was true. And, uh, you know, the son of uh, Mullah Umar, uh, I believe his name is Yaqub, is still one of the uh, main leaders. And uh, they're now trying to, going to try to bring Islam. They have their challenges. But the point is that they, um, they helped uh, the revival they showed the Allah showed us through this situation that another Salahuddin Ayyubi is possible it doesn't matter what plans you have how much PhDs you have you have one dream of the Prophet on one side and all the PhDs in technology and all the things you can imagine on the other side the the decision has already been made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala up there the decision was already made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the heavens. And so it didn't matter. And Mullah Umar said that when Afghanistan or the Taliban defeat America, at that time, America will be in its downfall. And with this, you know, thing that's going around us, you know, the Circus 19, and everything that's going around us, and everything that's happening here, and with the economy at a full stop, basically, except for the huge big companies, uh, you know, we this this is a true statement or Mullah Umar said and they couldn't even find his grave which was just a few miles away from the base and then like I said recently the Taliban leadership went there and did dua for Mullah Umar. So we as an Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam we thank anyone who uh, helped this Ummah, right? So everyone should do dua for Mullah Umar and for the Taliban and to give them istiqama and let them not get deceived at this point in this juncture. Let them have wisdom. And so we should celebrate this. The challenges are there. The challenges are very scary. And the challenges are huge. But at the same time, we should also appreciate Allah and thank Allah for the good that He's given this Ummah and shown this Ummah that if you can gather 12,000 true believers, 
you know, if you want to gather 12,000 true believers, if 12,000 Muslims, ala am ithnata ashra, ala amrin wahid, the Prophet said, 12,000 on one, one leadership, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet says, nain yaglibu min al qilla, they will not be defeated because of lack of numbers. So how important is it to get a jama'ah of 12,000? You can then, if we can do this, we cannot have one Taliban victory. We can have many Taliban victories. أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَلِسَارِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَالْمُسْلِمَاتِ Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.